Don't be shy. No, I don't. Oh, yes, right here in the front. So the question was, how did you convince a superstar like Vilma Santos to, to be in your movie? Um, when, when she read the script, um, she said yes right away. Uh, but this was after, because um, several in independent film directors have been uh, giving her proposals for projects. About uh, probably there were around ten proposals that came before this, and this was the only film that she gave her green light um, to to do. And um, it's also because um, the part of the appeal of the material for her was um, in all her fifty years of being in the business, she has never appeared um, as a uh, bit player because even as when she started as a child star. She was already the lead um, actress in that um, in the movie that she did. Anybody else? Can you tell us about um, like what was the inspiration for the story? Why tell this story? Um, well, um, I I work as a director too in soap operas for the top. TV station in Manila, and um, I I see how the whole system works, and um, actually um, this is a, a pay -in to the to the little uh, people who work in the industry, and I, I think that's also the same sentiment that um, my lead actress had when she accepted the role. It's it's a form of tribute to to the small people in the industry. I see, yeah, go ahead, yes. What was the, why did you include the scenes of her getting ready in the kitchen at the start and then having her meal at the end? Why did you have uh, scenes including her getting ready and then the meal at the end? To, sh to show to show the routine that she um, goes through uh, before before a work day and at the end um, to show how 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 tired she was from from the day's work and um, while eating she um, recalled everything that happened to her and um, and it, it got stuck on her also yes go ahead So the question, question was, did you make any special effort to treat the extras differently on this film about extras? To treat her differently? The extras. Uh, yeah, yeah act, uh, actually before we started shooting, um, we had to ask all her co-actors to have a, um, um, a gathering with her so her co-actors wouldn't be intimidated by her star presence. And so uh, when we start shooting, they would all feel comfortable working with her. Um, all her co-actors are um, actually uh, big players uh, in the industry. And um, the actors who play um, characters in the soap opera are big actors in, in TV and movies in the Philippines. Oh, yeah, in the back, go ahead. Uh, besides the extras, you also show the pressures of the crew members making the soap opera. I'm curious of uh, why you also decided to show that in the film as well. The question is about uh, the crew members and the pressure on them. Yeah, be, uh, because it's the pressures on, on the production people that um, makes monsters out of them. Um, it's the pressure on, um, on um, coming up with something to air, otherwise um, it will cost the station so much money. Actually, it's a form of um, it's a form of justification on on why the production people treat um, the little people that way. Okay, we have time for one more question. Yes, go ahead. How long did it take you to shoot the clip? Um, 
I shot the movie with Vilma Santos for 12 days and a, a, an additional day for the scenes of the director in the monitor room. Uh, we shot it um, in between her schedule and duties as uh, governor of a province in Batangas and also in between my schedule as a director of um, a TV soap in, in the Philippines. Jeffrey, I want to congratulate you on your film. Thank you for bringing it here. Everyone, Jeffrey Gisarian, the good player. Thank you very much. Have a good evening, everyone. Please vote for the film.